Lynn Perez Hewitt again, helping you to tell your story. This time, we're going to be looking at your audience. Who are you telling your story to? Because we're not homogenous. We're all different. We're different ages, different backgrounds. You're probably going to be surprised if I tell you that by 2020, like not too far away, 70% of the people in the country are going to be 70 or I'm sorry, 45 or older. We just feel like we're 70. 10,000 people a day are turning 65. 10,000 people a day. And we will until 2034. We all are aging somewhat gracefully. So you're not going to be talking all to our mature generation, which is already over 70. We're not all going to be talking to baby boomers. Baby boomers, we know this, 1946 to 64. You know our description. Workaholics, we're defined by work and our achievements. Sounds like Rotarians. What about Gen X? Born 1965 to 1979. Defined by their responsibilities in life. Also sounds like Rotarians. And millennials, the much maligned millennials, 1980 to 1994. They are confident and fearless, and they are protective of their peers. Sounds like Rotarians. And then now Generation Z, sometimes known as Generation Me, they're born in 1995 and forward. They are pragmatic, competitive, connected. Yeah, that whole social media thing. Socially responsible. They customize everything. And they are plugged in and self-reliant. They're all Rotarians. We know all of them. They're interactors, rotaractors. There are satellite Rotarians. They are all our Rotarians. So when you craft your message, be aware that your audience is going to be comprised of all of these people. And be aware that they have these different characteristics. You can craft your message to appeal to all of them. For more information and get more of these summaries, go to our district website, rotary5450.org. Click on People of Action Storytelling.